Welcome back, everybody. We're in out Birmingham, Alabama today, and uh, we got to we got another batch of bees to mess with. So it's real early in the season. Swarms are just now starting. What a swarm is is when there's a colony out there somewhere, and it splits in half because. Uh, we'll use the example this time of the year that was probably a really strong colony that made it through winter. And the natural process of bees to reproduce colonies is to split in half. The queen and half of those bees go live somewhere else. And for example, it's going to be right here. But the other half stay behind. They raise a new queen through a process that nature has given them the ability to do. So let's get inside and uh, let's go mess with some bees. The bees are literally just right here. So I expect we're gonna see probably one or two frames of comb that they have gotten started, but you probably won't even see them because there's so many bees up in this one. This was a pretty good sized swarm based on the heat signature. If you close our bedroom door here, we're just visiting when they're moving in. So we all know in the beekeeping world, bees will go straight to light. So they may fly around in here once we open this up and what are they gonna do? They're going straight to that window. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set up. I'm dying to meet these bees and you know I'm gonna catch that queen. Hey, Mike. Don't ever expect the easy stuff. Don't ever assume. This was one of those don't ever assumes. Um, let's look. All right, gang, it's break time. So I choose um, to not push the bees too fast when I'm doing a removal. I take a few pieces of comb out and I take a break. That way they don't push the queen into another cavity somewhere where I can't get to them and then it causes me a problem. And you know I'm all about getting that queen. I finally have found a couple of capped brood cells, okay? Plus I'm, I'm now finally getting into some frames that's got some honey in it. And, it, and it's capped, it's just not open nectar, it's capped off. So they've been here since last year. Let's get back to it, you ready? Thanks. One of the great interactions that I love about these videos is the questions that come in in one regard is towards this little contraption called the queen cage. Why do I put the queen in there? Do I ever let her out? What is the purpose in it? I do let her out after a few days, but let me explain. When I catch the queen like I just did, I'll put her in this little contraption and it actually helps to protect her during the transport home as well as once I've placed her in the hive. It's secondary purpose is to help lock the bees to this new home. Sometimes they just don't understand to stay here. So what we do is we'll keep her locked in. They will stay with her and start building her a new home. Well, there you go, guys. We got the bees out. Um, you saw the queen. She was walking around there. We got her cage, but that's not the end of the fun. We've got the bees home now, and we're going to go ahead and get them things hived up and let them get restarted. Look at that, hive beetles. Now that was one thing about this hive that I did not like was it was packed full of hive beetles. But... They're already starting to come out. Let's go ahead and lock y'all in there. I don't want you guys coming out yet. I'm just gonna, I want them to come down, but I don't want them coming out yet. Hello, girls. Because bees go to light, I wanna try to reduce that down some. I'll go ahead and set that up there, but It'll still get some airflow, but that's pretty much it. I just want them to come down into the box and, and start getting settled. I think you can hear them. So what they're doing now is they're fanning to let the rest of them know, hey, we found our queen, she's right here. All right, one final update, it's a week later. Let's go ahead and check on the bees and let's see how things worked out. Well, good deal. All right, so the bees are really working and liking this Premier Bee frames, all right? Heavy wax version. 
and they're working on that so they're they're really they're getting some resources they're drawing that out here's something really cool can you see her there's your queen hey mama what she's doing is she's looking for a cell that she can back into that's cleaned by her workers to go ahead and lay an egg now there may be some eggs down in those and that's why she's not dropped yet or they're not clean and ready to go but there's our queen another job whatever else see ya